Hello and welcome to episode 17 of our Timberborn update for Water Reaver mod playthrough here, cycle 24, day 3. Last time we built these giant towers here to hold a whole bunch of beavers and uh, get a little bit of extra storage. And now I'm wondering why this is saying nothing's connected to the... Uh... Oh no, that's the second floor one. We're good. We're good. I was about to say, we, we, we did the super secret forbidden technique of having the doorways kiss each other and now they work. Yeah, uh, out of context, that sounds really, really, really weird, but uh, that was a mod developer endorsed practice. So uh, yeah, eat that. Anyway, today we've got a lot more work to get done. We are working toward the ENS, which is like the university equivalent. We are 6% of the way through a 400 hour research process to make the architectural blueprint. Meanwhile, over here in the mechanics lodge, we are 0% of the way to the mechanical blueprint because we're still waiting on paper and planks and spicy sodas and sunflower oil and tar and all sorts of stuff. So we're really, really in need of some more of that stuff to get done. And that's what we're going to be doing here. <clears throat> but we have a couple of problems. <clears throat> Excuse me. Firstly, we don't have enough sawdust because nobody's working in the log gnawing stations. And despite having a ton of extra beavers uh, join our colony here. Uh, we are still down 34 jobs. We do have 55 little ones, though, that are going to be growing at some point. So uh, we can just wait for them to grow up, or we can, you know, just kind of force beavers to uh, start filling into these log gnawing stations. Let's see if there's any way we can uh, incentivize them to go do some other stuff. Uh, I don't want to unprioritize the water pumps. However, if we take a look, we have so many of these things, man. We have 16 pumps, and we have 10 upgrades. I think we can afford to have a couple of these deprioritized. We do have 3,300 water stored, and in the main district, we have 2,500. I think we're going to be okay for the time being. I just need to make sure that we have a couple of other things taken care of. So we'll just deprioritize the upgrades. And I think uh, that's the only ones I want to worry about deprioritizing here. So now we have uh, still have 38, 20 incapacity. Oh, okay. Let's go. We've got dirty beavers. I okay, don't want that. We, uh, oh, that's right. You know, I forgot everything we were doing. That's what happens when you don't play this for like four days. Uh, but the beavers in this mod don't work if they are dirty. So we want to give them the opportunity to clean themselves. There's not really that many good places to go do that here. So what we're going to do as part of our fun, go over to our well-being tab. And this all got shuffled around, so I have to remember where this, uh, I don't know, I've updated this like five times and it changes every single time. Uh, there it is, tank shower and river bath. So the river bath is basically just, you know, some uh, some logs put down in the, in the water and the beavers can chillax and clean themselves or whatever it is that they feel like doing. And the way this is set up, it's not really, uh, not really conducive to uh, this happening here. I'm, there's not a single place I can put this without having to put additional, additional stuff going down here. So I think what we'll do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick that there. I don't know if they can use this completely submerged, or if it just has to be one level down. I haven't actually tried. And we can detonate this now. Reminder that we are doing this to ensure that water is a little bit more contained in areas where it's going to irrigate crops once this is fully drained, which has happened a couple times. So we're going to try to have this river bath here. I don't know if it's going to function if it's too low, but that's why we learn by doing. Well, firstly, because there's... Okay, technically there are some resources available, but essentially there's no resources for this mod. You have to figure it out yourself. So that's why we're trying that. Now, we are gnawing on logs once again to make some sawdust and some planks, which hopefully will help us make some more paper here because we are uh, severely in need of some paper. And we've got our primitive paper mills and we have, of course, our regular paper mill. Uh, I had some calls in the comments to remove these because this is prime real estate. 
but uh, it would be kind of dumb to remove them when we still need a lot of paper. So I'm going to keep them for now. But as soon as we have enough paper to do the actual mechanical blueprints, we're going to get rid of it. And we will see what else happens there. Oh, no research is being conducted because nobody's in the Architects Lodge. All right, well, that's, uh, that's a little bit of a fail. Is there any way I can uh, take care of that? I guess. Okay, no, they're not working on that one either. Okay. Are they actually working in any of these? Okay, I guess I guess what I need to be doing is deprioritizing some of these haul. I know there's nobody in here. But at least for right now, until all the beavers get clean, we want to make sure that our beavers are actually, you know, working. Need a bunch of planks. Although it's interesting that they can still research this without a Or no, maybe maybe this is refilling to make a second blueprint. I actually don't know. If it is, that would be very irritating. But uh, I digress. We have quite, quite enough stuff to take care of at this exact moment in time. All right. I want to prioritize construction of this because I need to know if this works. Also, the beavers need to stop being dirty. There's not really that many other places. I mean, I guess I could put one down here if I really felt like it. Let's just make sure we're. Uh, reminding ourselves that we have stuff to blow up over here to keep everything irrigated. Yeah, I guess I could put one down here. I hadn't been putting anything here since I removed all of our... Seriously, I've got this much paper? Oh my god. Alright, that was another thing people kind of got onto me for in the comments. Was not having storage for... Which, I mean, to be perfectly fair, if you take a look at... Um, Everything that can go in the warehouses, yeah, uh-huh, it's, no. <laughs> we, we, have, we have so much stuff that we have to keep track of in this. You cannot possibly reasonably expect me to keep track of all of it with no issues. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make this for paper. Yep, there we go. Oh no, you're prioritizing everything that's being constructed, so nothing's prioritized. It's fine, don't worry about it. All right, it's flooded. So that was useless. Let's not do that. Except now I've got, now I got, now I got logs I can't get to. All right, all right, all right. I see how I see how this works. It's like every time I play this mod, I get more and more dumb. I I truly. Oh my god! Seriously. I I well and truly do not under. My god. This is just like you know. What this reminds me of. This reminds me of playing Minecraft when redstone first became a thing, and what what is that right-hand rule? I don't know. I didn't do well in science all the time, but there is a specific corner of whatever tile you were on that all of your stuff would jump to whenever you... Uh, God, seriously. This is irritating. Uh, whenever... Oh, did I do... No, okay, no, I didn't. I just need to get... Oh my God, seriously? There we go. Now, now I can finally... I just needed to get all the rubble in one spot where they could actually collect it without coming down here. We're not cavemen. We have technology. Let's, um... There we go. We don't have to do all this. Like, idiots. Alright. Now, that was a failed experiment. Let's unfail this other experiment. Uh, but I, I don't want it to be so far away, but it's got to be submerged, or I could just put a bunch more tank showers in. It doesn't seem like they're taking full advantage of this. But I guess for lack of anything better, I guess I'll just guess I'll just put one of these in. I know they're gonna they're gonna come get all this paper, and then all of my problems will be solved because I will have enough paper. At least that's what I'm going to uh, choose to believe, whether that's true or false. There we go. Yeah, I'll allow them to grab this, and then I will put the. Uh, other stuff in here. So let's see what's happening over here in Bramble Dam. Are these guys doing fine? Yeah, probably. We do have our wood felling planification lodge, which is in fact wood felling and planificating, whatever that means. So that's good to see. Our wood supply is improving. And one of the things I wanted to try last episode, but we did not get around to, was having our, uh, our stairs here to see if they could actually walk on this or if I just stupidly built this in the wrong spot because we need to take this little corner down so I can fit three of these 
primitive minds in. You know, just little projects that get constantly bumped when problems occur. No big deal. All right, we still have a little bit of rubble paper to get, but it looks like they're just about done. So in we go with the river bath. Let us put that guy right there. Should not be that big of a deal to get that accomplished. Can they not get to this? Well, it's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> we'll just only do this bit. We didn't need all of this to be connected. We just needed enough. So I can live with that being a thing. Just that one corner. Now, part of the fun is that they can't actually get to these. And because of the way this is set up, they're not going to be able to unless, unless we put a staircase in. And then they can walk down here whenever they want. So at, at some point, we probably also need to get rid of these small piles and, you know, actually uh, put stuff here. But uh, now is not that time. What I'm more interested in is why haven't they... Uh, um, we're not out of scaffoldings. I guess this just isn't the priority to build all these uh, double platforms and everything. We do need to take advantage of this because this does have the two levels. We could research ladders. We have the science for it. But remember, we are attempting to do the ENS. And, oh, we actually don't have an incredibly compact library set. Not that we need to be worrying about that right now because we still have hundreds of hours of research to do. Oh, we will eventually need to do one of those. Uh, metal supply is not looking too hot, but also it's going to take forever to get this research done, so that's fine. We do have enough metal fasteners. Uh, planks. I can't ever remember where the planks are on this. Do we have no planks? Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, logs are looking good, and of course the blueprints are, well, the blueprints are what the blueprints are. 63 out of 100. Okay, all the planks are going here. That's That's where they are. But one of these sawmills, where is where is that? Is that this one? Yeah, what are we, uh, what's the hold up here? Are they just slow? Oh, well, it's also nighttime and they, they don't work in nighttime. So that's fine, I guess. 60, 61, we have 62 beaver babies. That's an improvement. So other things that we need to be keeping track of... Um, Really, the only thing I had on my list was to uh, not let water get bad again, not let food get bad again, and research the ENS, because we added a bunch of beavers. We added like 100-some beavers last episode. So we're going to need to make sure we monitor this stuff. Our food situation excuse me, is not looking fantastic, but it's also not looking bad. We just need to make sure that we are adequately supplementing everything. I, mean, I think we're growing enough food. We're just not necessarily harvesting because we have plenty of rice growing here. So we can make our rice balls. We have our storage for uh, both of those flavors here. Pumpkin chips, berries. We probably should also have a storage just for rice. Uh, cabbages. What's what's in this one? Pumpkins. Yeah, somebody said grilled chestnuts like aren't a thing that we can store here because we can't make grilled chestnuts. But then if that's the case, then why, why are they... In the game. I, I don't know. Whatever. So we'll probably just change this to be rice. If I can find rice. Is that rice? Yes. Because we really should be stockpiling that. Because we have tons actually growing. In fact, we can plant more. We just haven't been. Because I didn't want to uh, constrain myself here. But seeing how this is set up, I don't think we really need to worry about it. I think we'll just... Uh, I think we'll just, you know, maybe leave a little bit of space in case we want to uh, continue planting stuff elsewhere. But I think we can, uh, I think we can actually make use of, yeah, we can make use of a ton of this space. So is that going to be still in range? Oh, I've got, uh, I've got a little bit more. All right, and then I can have a path through here if I absolutely want to. And then both of these can reach way over here. So that is... What I will add on this side. Yeah, there we go. So, more rice. Always a good thing. We could even put an assistant farmer here if we felt so inclined. But right now, I don't think we really need to worry about it. Should be okay. Yeah, because that's going to be an easy thing. Easy thing to keep up with. Because that's going to help with our rice bowls. Rice balls, not rice bowls. Uh, what else goes... What else takes rice? 
almost everything. Um, nothing with fermentation barrel, really? Spatterduck. What is that CH with a subscript? I did not do well in chemistry. I don't know, carbon and was some sort of carbon hydrogen thing. Dangerous explosive gas, probably. Um, look, I know someone with like 18 chemistry degrees is going to be in the comments just incredulous that I don't know what that is. Look, I got like a 69.51 in chemistry in high school. I barely passed. Don't come for me. <laughs> I promise you, it's not it's not that serious. But now, now I'm actually curious. What what does that actually? Methane. Okay. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we we all know what that's for. But I just I'm not used to seeing that is the uh, chemical symbol for it. All right, like I said, food wise. I don't think we're in trouble. I think we just need to be a little bit smarter about how we do stuff. Because, like, look at all these pumpkins over here. We can't even harvest all these pumpkins. they got so much going on. In fact, these guys, I could just have these guys prioritize harvesting. And that's probably fine, because then we can get rid of all of our pumpkins. We could probably just feed the beavers off of pumpkins alone. We could make pumpkin chips if we have... Uh, I wish I could just mouse over for the recipe for this. Um, which one of these? There we go. Yeah, salt, pumpkins, sunflower oil. We have salt. The sunflower oil is going to be the hard thing to deal with because, oh, we don't have screw press axles, and we don't have screw press axles because I stopped making them because we needed to gnaw planks. You can very quickly see how this becomes annoying to deal with. Um, we have all the paper, actually. So I'm going to have one of these start doing screw press axles. Like, there has to be a better way. There has to be some other way to do this without just having five beavers chewing on a log to make a screw press axle. Look, there's got to be a way to automate that. I guess there's not. Well, who knows? There might be. There's 8,000 different things to do in here. Factory, obviously, is just making metal blocks because what else, what else are you going to do with that? Mushroom stew seems to still be doing okay, although we could, if we had the stuff to do the fried rice. What building is this mechanized kitchen house? Um, I, okay, the thing on the top I'm assuming is the fried rice because it has rice in it. But the image looks like a pie. It does not look like a bowl of fried rice, at least not at that low of a resolution. So I think the only thing we're missing for that is the green peas, which I thought at some point we had planted, but I guess, I guess we haven't. That, uh, Seems to be a problem. Uh, large farmhouse. Can they... Oh, can only... Pl I'm, I'm sure this is supposed to be plant. Can only plant pumpkins. But we have some space. And uh, we might as well. Might as well. Where are they? Yeah, there we go. Might as well just plant some green peas. These guys can reach it. Well, most of it. In fact, uh, before we get too... Ah, uh, no, that's fine. We'll just we'll just leave it like that. I was going to take this row away, and then we could have two of these uh, side by side, but it's not that serious. We can replace these, and we should replace them with the uh, industrial ones. Because this verticality is good, but we uh, don't really have the means to do a ton of that, because it takes a bunch of stuff we don't have. Anyway, meanwhile, at the Architect's Lodge, 33% of the way through the ENS architectural blueprint, which is fantastic news. And we're still waiting on planks, spicy sodas, and sunflower oil. And we're not going to have any sunflower oil until we have screw press axles, which we don't have because they take forever to make. It's 70 hours to make one of... My God. I, I'm, I'm really going to have to be out here with like 10 of these things, these log gnawing stations. Dandelion tea. Why is... Why did I put that storage... I don't even... Don't even know. <clears throat> Could not tell you. So I guess what we're going to have to do... Um, yep, log gnawing station. We're going to have to be <clears throat> gnawing on our logs. Because I have some extra beavers now that these are starting to grow up a little bit. Yeah, so we'll put that guy in. Um, I guess I probably, I really, see, I've wanted to avoid having like a ton of these things, but I guess it's probably impossible to avoid at this point. Um, there we go. 
So guess what? You're making screw press axles. I've got now three of these guys are going to be making screw press axles. Now we have Dandel. Why is that like that's like electric green? What in the world? It's kind of terrifying, actually. Huh. Well, we can uh, leave that alone, I guess. I guess that means the mechanics lodge has. No, that wasn't wasn't using that really. Oh, the architect's lodge was the one for the uh, architectural blueprint using the dandelion tea. And that is tar. Good thing we have that. Spicy sodas. We were running into some issues with that. But over here we have 484 of it stored up. We have storage for bramble flowers, which I guess we could prioritize by haulers to get that taken care of. Yeah, because these guys, these guys could definitely use that. Um, oh, you know, oh, wow, that is um, red for the spicy sodas. <laughs> but uh, what I was going to say is that I need a tank for water over here, which I guess I could just put right there. There we go. Set that. I guess I don't have to have it set to supply. I should probably should be set to obtain. They'll take care of that because we want them to not have to walk all over the map to take care of everything. Now we're doing food wise over here. Still looking okay. I don't really only have four stores for sunflower seeds. Oh, we're not even growing them over here, so that's fine. Mushrooms don't have any storage to mark for mushrooms, but I guess they're eating them too fast anyway. Braised cabbage and berries. How do I? I really don't have any storage for berries here. Huh. Well, I, I don't have any growing, so I guess that's not that big of a deal. Uh, this one is getting coal. All right, let's not forget. I, don't, I got like 10,000 things going on in this mod at the same time, so it's kind of hard for me to uh, keep up unless I stay very organized, which, as we all know, is not something that happens. But the good news is we're going to have plenty of uh, plenty of stuff coming out of this mine. We're going to have coal here. Um, and I guess I should have one mountain salt because this is already in the process of being constructed. We'll just have that go. And then the third one is most likely, most likely, I guess, would be smart to have it be coal and export it back to the other district. Because we already have the mountain salt here. I think it's because we're importing it. And I had a storage set up. So I'm not going to, not going to worry too much about that. Yeah, but I will go ahead and just get these things going here. Yeah, never have too much coal. Mountain salt is actually already doing just fine the way it is. So now let's take a look. Four open jobs. It's going to be more than that, so we do need to have some additional houses put in. All the pumping seems to be doing just fine. Um, I haven't put a tower lodge or anything here. But I do have just these regular mirrored lodges that I guess we probably should have uh, maybe done a little differently. Because these are holding the water in for our uh, for our Lido here. That we put here so we could do more farming and then we didn't do any more farming. You know, because that, that just makes perfect sense, right? Okay, that, that little cabbage is going to go bye-bye because we need to have stairs here. I had forgotten that I had the ability to grow stuff here, and we could be growing plenty of additional things to, you know, make these beavers a little bit more self-sufficient. I'm not going to worry about having these ever-blossom things just get destroyed because, um, gestures wildly. Look at this. <laughs> we, we've got so much. These brambles are going to grow back faster than we can get rid of them. So we don't need to lose any sleep over getting rid of these things. I think that should be fine. And then up here, we're going to have, once the stairs are in place, we're going to have so much more room for planting up here. And just looking at what we've got going on here, we have, of course, cabbages. We've got rice. Oh, we actually do have berries over here. I had forgotten about these guys. But I don't have any, uh, I don't have anything in a range. I probably should uh, unplant this particular cabbage because what I can do there is I can then put a path in and then I can have one of these uh, gatherer flags here. Let me just put that guy right, right like so. Just need them to come get that. And then we can gather berries, you know. It's always good. So we can make our berry rice balls, etc. I just need somebody to come get this, uh, get this cabbage. So we'll come back and check on that. They still haven't finished these. Because, you know, of course, that's how that works. 
harvesters are harvestering. This guy is going to be a little lonely by himself. But not the worst thing ever. What I would like to do is we have we have plenty of dynamite. I'm not worried about it. I want to blow this whole area up here. And we can have our berries spread a little bit. You know, just naturally over time. That's a huge waste of dynamite. Not really. It's not that hard to make in this mod. So I'm going to choose not to be worried by it. Let's come over here. Yeah, see, our water supply is tanking because we started making this other stuff. So we now have all of these things occupied, so that's not a problem. But now we have an issue, especially these three right here. There's no local water storage because I had not uh, actually put anything in. So we're going to want to do that. I'm going to leave this open up here in case we need to get across. But we do have lots of space. Lots of space up here. So we have to decide how we're going to have stuff put in. I'm going to move this path. And I guess that can go away too. But we're just going to put a little, well, a little tank, a medium tank. And put water in it set that to supply because these guys have to have somewhere to put it that's not you know halfway across the map we do still have 700 ish water here but we don't want to get too comfortable with that because well we have plenty of other stuff that needs to get done and it's going to disappear before we know it what are we waiting on now six more spicy sodas and a bunch of sunflower oil do we have screw press axles we have one do these guys no okay well, they're both running, so I guess that's fine. It's just, it takes a long time, man. Real long time. Well, that's the way it goes. Yeah, remember like five episodes ago when we started researching the large water wheel blueprints? And then we can't use them because we have to use the research points for other stuff? Yeah, good times. Uh, this dynamite can go away. And then we can just keep making that hole deeper. Because we want to have a lot more uh, storage under gravity batteries and eventually replace these with the full size ones not just the uh, light flavor we also can't forget to set this dynamite off because the whole reason that's there is to prevent our uh... oh there's another one right here I didn't put in uh, prevent our crops from drying out when we get to that point but uh, food supply in this district even while water is well water's not crashing it's just lower than it was Food supply is steadily ticking up very, very slowly. You know, it's, it's working out pretty well. We've got uh, got green peas. Looks like they're using the same model as the uh, as the soybeans, which, you know, makes sense. That's fine. It looks pretty much identical. Green peas, like we said earlier, go into the fried rice. These guys are making dandelion tea, but we could easily turn them over to fried rice. In fact, we can build another one of these if we so chose, but they just use so much, so much water to do a, do I even have a medium cauldron? I do not, but I will as soon as I get rid of these uh, paper things. If I said that to fried rice, that should be fine. No, I, I do have enough paper, right? Yes, full up on paper. So this uh, primitive paper mill, and I guess this one too can go away. Yeah, I have another hundred. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just come grab all the rest of this stuff. Mark that as a priority. Yeah, remember the beginning of the episode 30 minutes ago when I said we we're going to try and prioritize getting all the stuff off the ground? And then I didn't do that. Pine resin, pine resin, pine resin, clay. Yeah, see, th the problem is there's just so much stuff in this mod. You, you cannot possibly keep up with all of it. I mean, maybe you can, then I guess you have superpowers. But there's, there's so much to keep up with. So much. And I kind of started building stuff over here, but we just did not have the space for it. I guess what I will do is I'll put a medium warehouse here, because that space is already there. And I'll just pick something we haven't had any storage for that I know is on the ground. Are these bones? Whoa, hold on. How do you get those? That seems kind of... uh, Huh. All right. Um, uh, I guess the rest of this isn't really a problem. 
I, I really not? Okay. See, I don't know if I have storage already assigned and it's not being used because the bar doesn't show up until there's one or so many in there. What do I even put? Oh, spatter dock needed storage. I know, I know I don't have any storage for spatter dock, but we have some sitting on the ground somewhere. Ah, uh, yep, there it is. And we can actually use the spatter dock, I believe, in... I can't remember what recipe. There's so many recipes. Um... Does it go on the... No, it doesn't. What does the spatter dock even get used for? I... I can't tell. Mechanized kitchen house. Wait, hold up. Hold up. The cooking house and the mechanized kitchen house have the same recipe for fried rice that takes the exact same amount of time and makes the exact same amount. So what incentive would I have to then use that in the mechanized kitchen house if it's the same exact recipe in two different buildings? Because that's just going to suck up power. There's no there's no time benefit to that or anything. You, you think that would be quicker? Unless it's supposed to be, and I've actually caught something that's incorrect, which I highly doubt. While this is a complicated mod, there's not that much that I've found that's been actually, like, error-ridden. It's just difficult. So I'd be I'd be very surprised if that wasn't intentional. But it also just seems... Okay, i got to get the medium cauldron out of here. Do I have... One of these is going to have to have the medium cauldron in it. I think. Maybe I'm just wrong. Was I was... Is this really all pine resin here? Um, clay pots, clay pots, anvils. Did they uh, did they go find it? No. What happened to the medium cauldron? Or did I just get taken for a ride in the comments and I said something about blah 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 blah? Oh, you get it. And then correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I saw the guy that made the mod say you get a medium cauldron. I'm just gonna go look at the comments right now on my phone because I can do that while I'm sitting here recording this video. So I guess we get to watch uh, watch some beavers run around. We're not out of water yet, are we? No, but it's it's definitely trending down. We'll get we'll get it taken care of. All right, let's go to the previous episode, episode sixteen. Let's look at the comments. Oh no, now it's not going to sort them by video. Thanks, YouTube. Your app is garbage. Um, studio app at least. All right, this is a huge waste of time. Anyway, suffice to say, I, I was under the impression I would get one of those back, but before I deservedly get called a moron in the comments, let's, uh, God, I don't even know where that building is. Oh, jeez. What, what what even was that called? Now I, I don't even remember that. I don't know. I think there might be too many buildings in this mod. Um, village jobs. That wasn't it. Is it under industrial buildings? Screw press, rudimentary sawmill. We didn't even look at that one. Hydroponic farms. Remember the paper mill? Yeah. Yeah, it had it had medium cauldrons. Where are my cauldrons? Where are my cauldrons? Do I, do I really not have any? I do have the storage for medium cauldrons. Where are my cauldrons? I know they have to exist. Did they just get disappeared when I deleted this thing? That would be some absolute garbage if that was the case. I just don't understand how this is all pine resin. Do you even use, you don't even use pine resin to make this building. So why is there, why is there pine resin here? Is that a glitch? Did everything just get turned into pine resin that came out of the, the you saw me delete this? I obviously can't go back while I'm filming this to look and see, but how? No, no, because the pine resin was an ingredient in making the paper, so I can't. Where are my cauldrons? How, how, how and where, how and where did the cauldrons go? All right, if I make that a hauler priority, is that going to be uh We're going to sit here and we're going to watch them obtain these cauldrons. They have to be somewhere. They absolutely have to be somewhere. They don't just disappear. And if they do, that's garbage. That is actually trash because those are very hard to make. Cuz the two of them, right? My god, man. 
This mod absolutely hates me. Because the, the only way to make another one of those is to make it in the factory, which we already are having such a hard time making literally anything else with. Um, third, uh, I guess I could just make another one, but that sucks, man. I had two of those. I didn't get them back. Let it be known, I did not get my medium cauldrons back. I want my money back for this free mod that was made with love and care and is not intended to make people frustrated. Or maybe it is, in which case then uh, maybe think about your priorities. But um, anyway, that was a joke. Don't get upset. Um, it's garbage that I had two of these and now I don't have any. That's very annoying. All right, we have a drought coming in two days. How much water do I have stored? Probably not enough. Yikes, under 400. Let's pause. Because I can't really turn any of this stuff off because, you know, we're, we're actually using it. 8%. Okay, good. 74%. Also good. The bad part is that I can't even research this because I don't have the science for it yet. So I have, you're telling me that I have in... This district, I have 17 beavers pumping water, and I'm losing it that fast. That just seems inconceivable to me. That is absolutely insane. I don't, I don't, do I even have anywhere else I can be building these things? Not without causing problems, I don't think. What am I supposed to do with this, man? This stuff's using too much water. It's using way too much water. I have no recourse for this. Oh, jeez. How am I going to get... How am I going to get more water into this? I, I've used all of my spaces to build on to put other things in place. I mean, I, I guess I could put some more of these over here, but they're just going to be flooded. Uh, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? There's no more straight any anywhere. And I can't just make levy stuff. I mean I, I could, but it wouldn't work very well. Yeah, the way this the way this is set up is mean. Mean. Mean mod. Complicated things. Cause I'm not gonna get it done in two days, I can tell you that much for sure. I don't have anywhere to put these stupid things. And I got I got seventeen of these and I still am running out of that is insane. That just does not seem reasonable. Are we at least prioritizing these things? Something tells me we haven't. Now, I don't know if that has for sure caused problems, but I also don't really have that many hauler beavers anyway. But if we turn all of these on, maybe they'll pump more. Let's try that. Instead of building a bunch of these, that 17 should be way more than enough for 250, 300 beavers in one district. How many are in this other district, actually? 60. Okay, that was close. All right, so this one is making coal. This one is making nothing, but it's assigned to make coal. And this one is making mountain salt, but also doesn't have any beavers. So we have to have additional beavers living in here, but I don't have any extra places for them to live. Probably, probably could use some haulers, so maybe I... Uh, Maybe I put in these pit and ladder lodges somewhere. Is there a good place to even build one of these? Here might actually not be a bad spot if I can get this removed. Yeah, put those three in here, then I could I could put one of these right here. And then we can build up on top of stuff. That might actually be useful. It's reasonably centrally located. And I'll finish your finish your bombs. There we go. Okay, pit and ladder lodge. Just pop that guy there. Guess there's no reason to specifically have to put this like this, but we'll uh, we'll deal with it. We'll start with those three, and then we'll put the next one uh, facing out this way. I guess I could have put the second floor also having one of these, but I decided probably don't need to worry about it. All right, how are we looking here? Okay, the water number is going up, which is nice. We do have a lot of haulers if we actually have 34 beavers that don't have jobs. All right, what can... Have any of these been turned down? I don't think so. There's not that very many uh, 
high employment level buildings here. Man, even the mines are full. All right, well, hey, we did uh, we did pretty well for ourselves then. I guess we could, in fact, have some additional water pumps, but uh, I don't have anywhere to put them is the problem. This is going to be gone. Because they only have the straws only two tiles long. That makes it a little difficult to uh, be able to keep up with all of this stuff. It's kind of kind of hard. It's not supposed to be easy. Yeah, I know, but... Okay, do I at least... I do have a medium cauldron. Did they build this? Yes, they did. And now they're trying to make fried rice, but they can't because they don't have any green peas because the green peas have not been even harvested yet. Really? Okay, 10 days. That's why. Very, very long time for the green peas. So the green peas are going to need storage. Sunflower seeds, pine resin. I uh, probably... Oh, you know what I can do? I have the power to put in warehouses on top of the kitchen things. So these are making dandelion teas. Uh, I should have dandelion storage. Where's my dandelion storage? Do I even have dandelion storage? I guess technically I do, but I'm going to put another one up here because that's making dandelion tea. And did I... I literally just clicked this. There we go. This is going to... I guess I could just store the green peas here. Why not? I uh, hope I can even... There we go. Oh, that works. Vertical storage. Woohoo, we did it. All right, drought's almost here. Um, yeah, the water situation's not looking fantastic. But the good news is we probably won't run out. I have 1,100 water stored in this district. Maybe that's why. Are we still importing water? Because if so, we need to stop that. Let's actually pause this real quick. Uh, I should be exporting water. Where in the world is water? I need a search bar for this. There's way too many items to scroll through. Uh, there's your problem. Just turn that off and go to the other side. And... Oh, I guess I could leave this district on always import because... Um, well, we have so much more pumping per capita done here. Yeah, that's probably fine. That should help us quite a bit. All right, so now we have we have 18 open jobs. Uh, once this gets built, we'll have another six places for beavers to live. We, could, we actually need a second, second uh, entrance up here. All right, well, we'll use our newfound super secret forbidden techniques. Eight-day drought. Okay, that's not a exactly confidence inspiring but we'll uh we'll see what happens i'm going to build the tower segment up here just so they can stand on top of this and do it but yeah we're gonna have three more levels of this i think should be able to support everything uh food wise this might start to become a problem but but we have our secret weapon of just uh planting more stuff i know very uh very very technical here uh, sunflower seeds are going to be an important thing. Pumpkins we can't do unless we have the big farmhouse. Uh, mushrooms, de decorative, duh. Um, yeah, I'm going to plant up here. Let's uh, let's put some sunflowers in. In fact, I'll just make this whole, whole thing sunflowers here. We'll put our path going all the way across. I guess I just, could just have this connect here. Yeah, see, they can reach all of this stuff, so we'll just... We'll just make all of that sunflowers. So what else are we going to plant? Green peas that we can't really uh, do too much with over here. We just need other things for beavers to snack on. That's the idea. And also this space right here I was going to blast down as well. Yeah, so let's just... Uh, we have Again, we have so many trees. Not worried about losing these. Also, they're just pines. And we have, again, tons of stuff over here. So that's okay. Now that we're not exporting water like idiots. Okay, yeah, that's looking a little better. How's our ENS stuff? 91%. Hey, we're actually going to get the architectural blueprints in this video. That's awesome. This one, yeah, not so much. That's going to be next time. But we are making good progress, which is nice to see. Food-wise, we're still looking really good here. 
even if it is mostly pumpkins, we are working slowly toward making some fried rice. And uh, eventually we'll have something to uh, show for it. But other good news, I now have three additional medium cauldrons. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this thing all the way up. We're going to have five of these. And then I will have the... Uh, Wow, that's all, that's as far down as that's gone. Nice. We've actually been doing a lot better the past couple of episodes. It's almost like I've learned something. Somewhere someone is screaming, saying, you haven't learned anything, you're just making more stupid mistakes in different ways. That's fine. We're here to have a good time. Um, but now medium cauldrons, I got four. I think there's one more it needs to make, and then we'll switch recipes probably back to metal blocks. Well, we do have 145, so what one else? I don't think I need to worry about having any anvils. Probably wouldn't hurt to have another one, though. Drill bits, we're not even there yet. Chemistry sets, I don't think I need one right now. Gold bars, we don't have any gold dust. Maybe I do want to make an anvil. I don't know. We've got some, uh, some time to figure it out. Got another six and a half days left in the drought here. All right, now what are we... Um, our wait <laughs> Logs are the thing we're waiting on. All right, so we need to have a wood storage over here before all of these uh, brambles take over everything. But the wood storage can't be flooded, which is what makes this difficult. I mean, the wood that goes in the plantification lodge can be flooded, but we can't just have flooded wood. Yeah, make that make sense. So what I'm going to do, this might seem, might seem kind of dumb, but what I would like to do Get rid of these brambles. And then I'm actually going to come in here with our uh, platforms. And I'm going to build log storage on top of this thing. I just have to be able to get in here with some stairs to come up to the side. So we're probably going to have to remove some stuff anyway once we get over here. There's just so many brambles. All right, so that's done. I need to come over to the stairs. I Maybe I should just unlock ladders. But for right now, I'll just put that there. That will have to work just like it is. A uh, large industrial pile goes here, and we'll set that for logs, set that to supply, and they'll be able to put logs in there because I don't think we really have really any log storage in this entire area. We just have... Uh, Oh, we have 20. That means we have a... Okay, yeah, we have a small pile somewhere. Not this one. Oh. They put my medium cauldron in this... All right, whatever. Is this set to... No? Wow, all right, that was that was weird then. Yeah, so they'll get this finished. We'll have some additional places for the beavers to live here. Yep, we have 14 empty beds. We have 27 vacancies. One incapacitated beaver. Uh, I assume is probably just... Dirty? We have four dirty beavers. Five, three. Okay, well, they're, they're going to go get clean. That's all right. Got plenty of room down here at the uh, communal river bath cleaning station. All right, how are we looking over here in the District of Mistakes? Um, water. Still kind of an issue, but not that much. Could definitely have been worse. I just need to have a better place... To put all of uh, all these water pumps, I just I just need to make a place to pump water. Not really, uh, not really that much confidence being inspired here, is there? See, I I just don't have enough shoreline to do that. I I could put more here, but that's just going to get sucked dry even faster if I do that. And I don't think that's what we want. Now, what I could do is I could. Um, I could just take some of these blueberries or these cabbages out, but I don't think that's what we want either. If we take a look at our pumps here, I could easily put in... Uh, I could put in two right here, but I, I did that before, and I specifically got rid of them so I'd have more room to plant cabbages. Uh, I, might, I might just be big-braining all this for no reason. But I could do... Yeah, if I just got rid of all of these brambles here, which I honestly probably should get rid of these things, 
then I could easily, easily put some stuff here. This isn't going to be powered across here anyway, and they could actually, uh, no, they couldn't, couldn't walk across that, but that's fine. I guess we just get to wait now at this point. I love when people make comments on this series talking about like how complete unbridled chaos this is. Yes, it is. Well, that's part of what makes it fun. You know, it's it's a completely alien experience and something that you think you understand, but you don't because it's completely different and breaks all the rules that you've pounded into your brain over hundreds and hundreds of hours of playing the game. Everything you know is wrong. Old Weird Al song from, I think, uh, was it the Bad Hair Day album? In, uh, was that 91? 92? The one that had the parody of, uh, <laughs> the one that had the parody of Gangster's Paradise as uh, Amish Paradise. Man, Weird Al's a cool dude. Unbelievable musical talent. Just absolutely unreal. Alright, I'll get rid of this so I can put a water pump here. There we go. And now I can actually get rid of the rest of this. Need to make sure we put our paths. Wow, see that's how fast this, these grow so fast. I can't believe it. That is actually mental. All right, so what's gonna happen here? So this is gonna go here and I'm going to have to, oh, can I even reach this one? Something tells me, yeah, they can't reach this. So I'm gonna, oh, what a pain. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have uh, I'm going to have to have this go all the way back down here. Well, I probably should be coming down here anyway. You know, just put out little fires one one piece at a time. It's fine. Prioritize my haulers. Uh, make that a priority building, priority job. Yeah, I need to absolutely keep this in check. All right, let's put our path down here. Can they reach this one yet? Yes. Well, we're going to want to take some of this back anyway because we have all of these berries over here. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh my god, did this seriously get... Wow, these brambles grow way too fast. I know we, we talked about it before as being similar to kudzu or Japanese knotweed or your favorite invasive species of choice. Oh, ironic. You're hungry and you're thirsty doing construction for the water pump. It's just the way it goes, I suppose. All right, now somebody come get this blueberry bush and the brambles so I can actually connect these things, please. Hopefully I can actually put the path down before it becomes a problem. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. There you go. Right, so that now needs to be... Yes. We'll put that there. This has to go away, which should still be reachable, and it is. Yeah, and then, of course, we'll have to... Well, I actually don't have to do a levee here. I can just have a uh, platform, which I can't build on top of a plant. So that's why that's a thing. And I guess I will just have to wait for this to get uh, put back in place. But But we can put this here. And we can do the upgrades, since we're already here. And they'll just build those eventually, and that's fine. How are we looking on water? All right, you know, we're not, not really hurting that much. The ENS architectural blueprint is done, which means we don't have to do this over again, which means we can have Dan S. go back to making scaffoldings. And we can return all these other materials. But, but we have the ENS architectural blueprint. We need to make it shiny, which means... This goes into the Artist Lodge. I don't need to have five of these. We just need to have one that is shiny and then uh, never lose it or we will cry. 53%. Yeah, we're not going to finish this one today, but, but we will get our fancy blueprint and we can pick a site for it if I had it researched, which I can't because I don't have the science. That'll be a priority for next time. I actually don't know how big this building is. I would imagine it's probably something like, I don't know, five by five or whatever. So we will have to find a good place for it. Might even end up just going here if it, if it fits in this area. I'm not opposed to stripping a bunch of this out. 
but I, I do want it to actually, you know, be somewhere that makes sense. All right, that's still working. That's fine. This is almost fancy. And it's uh, fancied. Exactly one. Now, let's pause. Use our layer skimming tool to open the library. And I don't know that there's any other places I can put scroll racks. And I also don't think I can do anything with this until I can either put it in the building to be constructed or into a scroll rack. So let's see if I can fit another one of these in here. Okay, I can put it on the bottom floor. Yeah, so I will just have to... Oh, God. Um, which one of these is... Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Mechanical drill, fancy. Mechanical pump. Sm Don't tell me there's no ENS slot for this. All right, hold on. Bachelor's in mycology. Balloon trader. Clockwork. Cursed scrolls of forbidden magic. Yeah, okay, that's something you study in college. Um, okay, there we go. Architectural blueprints. Uh, why, so why did that have... Why did that have the bar next to it? I wonder why... Okay, well... I mean, that's what's going to go there. And then this is the mechanical blueprint. That, that will go there. That way we know they're in the library. Unless I forget, in which case you will probably have to remind me. But then I can come out of the artist's lodge and the artist can get back to making comic books or library books. Probably we'll need to make library books because we have to make a compact library set. Um, yeah, scaffoldings. There we go. And uh, we probably should turn the library back on, but I don't know... Food-wise, I don't think we have enough berries still. Dandelions. I, I love the implication they're just eating the dandelions and not drinking the tea or anything. But um, I think we could sustain having a couple beavers in here, so we'll try that. Okay, the blueprints are out, so let's make uh, let's make library books. Oh no, that uses paper. That's probably a bad idea. But we do do need to have uh, in incredibly compact library sets, which uh, industrial building. Two. Oh my God! Are you serious? Two hundred. Why? Why am I not surprised? Two hundred library. My God, man. I mean, I get it. Two hundred library. It's that's. I, I I literally can't be upset about that. But are you serious? I have to make two hundred of these. This is gonna take so. Oh my God. <clears throat> That's going to take forever. Well, I guess we don't need to worry about these guys getting uh, getting switched over anytime soon. All right, um, now that I have all of these guys, cannot make any more screw press axles. Um, eh, I guess I could turn these back into... Uh, oh, we already have full planks. So I guess for right now, we'll just... Uh, pause both of these they can go do other stuff how do i have 24 empty jobs oh okay that's because of the other district which by the way have they even finished 26 open jobs they just don't have anywhere to live is the problem and also there's 18 beaver babies boy what a uh what a mess this has been huh what are we... Oh, oh, we can't build... <laughs> we can't build the large industrial pile to store the logs because we don't have any logs to build something to store the logs in. That makes sense. It's like, I guess we're using the logs to build all of our uh, pit and ladder lodges. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We will prioritize construction of the large industrial pile because that will substantially speed things up. We are running out of time in today's episode. But this is all built, which is nice. I guess I didn't need to get that out of here. But I will, um, for the sake of our sanity, just put a platform here in case I decide to build up on this side. But we have five extra beavers working over here in the water pumps. Which, by the way, we need to prioritize. There we go. No, actually, I said these were going to be lower priority up at the uh, top, didn't I? Wow, that should help solve our water problems. Yeah, you know, almost 700. And oh, we're past an hour now. Uh oh, that means I got to end the episode. But how are we? Uh, how are we looking here in our cooking house, huh? Have we made any fried rice at all? 
something tells me, yeah, sunflower oil. That's going to be our, uh, that's going to be our Achilles hill here. Oh, we don't have any, uh, really? We don't have any power left. Ho oh, ho ho ho, but we do because I detonated something underneath the gravity batteries, which means now for the next, I don't know, five seconds, we actually have, a. Uh... okay, more than five seconds. We actually have power. Eh. Drought's almost over anyway, so I guess we could just uh, we just make that the end of this episode. So, you know, we got some good stuff done. Got some not so good stuff done. Had some uh, incredible frustrations for founded and unfounded reasons. Uh, all in a day's work. We uh, we make it happen. Plenty left to do. Uh, the the revelation about the two hundred library books is extremely demoralizing. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, I guess that just gives us a new uh, goal to work toward. By the way, five hours per book. That is a minimum of 1,000 beaver hours. Although I think the uh, copy sludge can also make library books. So I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's do that instead. Instead of making comic books. There, there will be time for nerd stuff later. But I digress. Uh, that is quite enough of... Uh, this nonsense today. So that actually works out kind of well to have the end of the drought be the end of the episode. We can start fresh next time through on, oh man, when does this series come back? Wednesday? Yeah, I think so. So hopefully, hopefully we get some other stuff done. I know we have uh, all this dynamite to get rid of over here. Yeah, and I was going to have that. Uh, I need to make sure I'm not going to use all my dynamite. Oh, these are... Um, Oh, this is all dried out because we've been pumping out of this lake the whole time. That's something to keep in mind. Um, that's not going to die quite yet. So we need to we need to have some irrigation over here. I guess we could put in an irrigation tower somewhere. C crap, irrigation tower. Yeah, we'll end up putting this somewhere over here. I'm not entirely sure where. I, I am going to get rid of this. Don't worry. But that's that's the next time thing for sure. Got plenty to do, but hey, look, we have a large industrial pile. That's uh, that's working for us. These are not fully staffed because we don't have enough beavers, but we're working on it, getting our population up. And uh, yeah, now it's only going to take 500 beaver hours to make uh, library books because, you know, we have two of these things working now. So it's not insurmountable. It's just a big challenge I was not expecting. But hey, that's the way she goes. So now we have half a day left until this drought is over. Uh, we have 10 dirty beavers. We, oh, these are um, these are dried out because they. Uh, are, oh, I didn't I didn't detonate this one. I didn't detonate these two in time, but now they are. So they'll hold a little bit more water. So we could have hopefully most of this stay irrigated. I didn't want to take up surface space for a uh, for an irrigation tower, but that's uh, that's fine, you know. You take it as you can get it. Not always going to have a winner every single time. But you live, you learn, and you uh, figure out new ways to become frustrated at the beaver game. But, you know, it's still fun. It's still an interesting learning experience. And uh, that's what it's all about, right? So I guess we can go ahead and power through the rest of this, and we'll end on the, uh, end on the dawn of Cycle 25. Yep, thanks for being here. Really appreciate you really appreciate you excuse me as always it's been a very long day uh, but i am glad that we got to spend a little bit of time together enjoying our uh, chaotic weird strange beaver mod together in this time so uh again i do always read the comments if you have anything uh, on your mind have any helpful tips advice want to call me an idiot whatever whatever it is drop it down below i i really enjoy interacting with you guys it's always a whole lot of fun and I'm very, very thankful that we get to do this together as well as thankful for the Beard Boosters, their support, and all of the uh, fun stuff that enables, like this madness every single day of the week. And here we are, Cycle 25, Day 1. But I, I really do mean it. I, I'm very, very thankful for you, and I hope whatever it is that you're doing with the rest of your Saturday, you have a fantastic and safe rest of your day. Uh, maybe having a live stream later tonight. I've got some quote-unquote real job stuff to take care of this afternoon but uh if i have time at night not gonna promise but if i have time we, we might do a short one we got some stuff to get done in the uh diorama map 
and all sorts of other stuff we can get to. But hope to see you soon, whatever the occasion is. Have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.